I will soon experience complete oneness with an interconnected global community of game warriors. I can feel the energy flowing through the high-speed Ethernet cables. Dude, who are you talking to? Are, are we gonna play or what? <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It's Richie Plunker here from the Puppet of Geek. Let's talk about PlayStation VR and cross-platform gaming today. So in the last couple of days, Microsoft has come out and saying we want to cross-platform our games with PC and Xbox and hopefully PlayStation as well. Now obviously everyone out there who plays Rocket League will know that if you're playing on Xbox or on PlayStation, you can actually play with the PC counterparts as well. However, you can't play with Xbox or PlayStation, those are still separate entities. Now it's something that Microsoft is open to and wanting to actually explore this. And Sony has come out saying that, well, we've been doing this for the last couple of years now with Final Fantasy and all these other games with cross-platform gaming with PC. However, they are open and interested not with Microsoft but more with the publishers to see what they can open with not directly saying that they'll work with Microsoft is that being said that they'll work on this collaboration together to actually cross-platform to have one united server and have everyone playing on one sort of server and see how that goes I'll be interested in more to see console gamers playing with other console gamers rather than seeing with PC games because that's a whole separate world you know, Rocket League, I guess it's all the same. Most people use controllers anyways. But if you're playing someone like Call of Duty or anything like that on your PC and you're versing someone on console, PC is obviously going to win. Like, you know, hands down. You know, coming from a console gamer itself and as well as a PC gamer, you know PC is going to win just because of just the way you play, just the how you can, you know, your mind works. You know, given that, you know, I'm sure there's some crazy console COD players as well and going on Battlefield as well. Now, moving over to PlayStation VR. Now, PlayStation has officially announced its price for PlayStation VR at $399 US and $549 Australian. $549. That's, 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 that's so much more. I mean, I understand a dollar isn't doing that great, but damn. Especially with the extra $60 for, you know, the PlayStation camera, which I do believe is a necessity. Um, and given that maybe you have to buy the, you know, the move sticks, does it come with it? I don't know. Um, but with that price being said and an announcement date, I think a lot of people are actually quite happy with that price, given that it is a lot cheaper compared to the Oculus Rift and what Vive may be coming out with as well. Now, that being said, how will the PlayStation VR cope with games? Now, there's obviously a few games out there and developers are working on PlayStation VR, but how would it compare to PC and like the other VR headsets which the other people are working on? That's all PC compatible. There's a lot of free content out there for VR. However, for the PlayStation, is a lot of stuff going to be free? Is a lot of stuff going to be paid? And how much as well in comparison? And that's something I think is going to be very interesting when it comes closer to the release date of the PlayStation VR as well as the Oculus as well, given to see how much does a game cost in VR? Because, you know, given from the Samsung VR, you know, games are not that much cheaper than your regular app. There are a lot more. And, you know, paying uh, a US price of like $10 for a game, and that's nearly $15 Australian just for a game that you may play for about half an hour or less. That's a lot of money. So it'll be interesting to see how much VR games are actually going to cost as well in the future and how much free content is going to be out there as well. Anyway guys, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on PlayStation VR and cross-platform gaming. Do you think it's going to work? Do you think, you know, Sony and Microsoft can finally get together and work together and unite this console war and put out peace? And also, do you think the PlayStation VR is at a good price being $399 US and $549 Australian? Leave a comment down below. I can't wait to see them and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.